Hello and welcome to the Nested Friends presentation. My name is Vanessa Baker. I'm a Stampin' Up! demo from Auckland, New Zealand. And I'm really excited to be able to uh, present the Nested Friends bundle to you today. This is the stamp set here and the dies. And it's got a really detailed, uh, amazing nest. And uh, you can cut that shape out along with the bird and the branch. And then there's some extra bits here in the dies to make sort of layered nests and some leaves. So it's been a really fun set to play with. Um, I'm also using the Charming Sentiments um, sentiment stamp set. And this also comes with dies that cut um, cut out your your words. And you'll see that in action shortly. So this is the card that I'm going to demonstrate to you, for you. <laughs> um, yeah, quite a simple couple of layers. Um, I really like the colours, the, the, the green and the blue together. And just a really cute little nest there with the mummy bird guarding her eggs. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp the nest. I'm using crumb cake for this. And I want the nest sort of to the right hand side of my paper and I'm making sure that the internal part of the nest is uh, horizontal on the page. You don't want your nest sort of on an angle. So just watch for that when you're stamping this one. There we go. Oh, that might be a little bit too far to the right, but that's okay. And then we're going to, I'm going to sh um, start colouring the nest. So we've got crumb cake and granny apple green, the two colour, two shades of granny apple green, and the dark balmy blue. So I'll just do some leaves. So when you're colouring with blends, it's a good idea to just follow the shading that is already on the stamp. So in this case, we've got the little dark line through the middle of the leaf. And on some of the leaves, there's a little bit of shading on one side. So I'm just following that and then with the dark one. And then coming in with the light one just to fill in all the rest and blend that darker colour. So then we go back in with the dark one. And I just do a couple at a time. Fill in the detail. And carry on like that. And I might just see if I can zoom in. Possibly can't see. There we go. I'll try that. Um, the blue I just used on the little berries. So I just sort of dotted it like that to fill in each berry and with the crumb cake I've actually gone around the whole edge of the nest and any little pieces that are sticking over the edge I've colored those in like that and I've also gone around the leaves that are actually in them showing on them in the nest and then once those little bits are all coloured around the edges, then you can just use the bigger end of your blend and just you know go in and fill in all the other and colour in that whole nest. So it's much easier once you've um, done all those edge pieces, then you can just go for it basically. Okay. So here's one that I've already coloured. Right. Next I'm going to attach the nest, the die cut nest. So this is um, quite an, a cool little um, piece that you can use to just enhance the whole thing and make it pop off the page. So I'll just attach that. I'm just going to put 
a few dots of liquid glue. Doesn't have to be very precise. I tend to leave the outer parts unglued. I like the look when things sort of stick up a bit of their own accord. And then I'm placing it over that central part of the nest. See how I've got some of the bits that are sticking up? I really like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I did for the eggs. So I'm using a scrap of shimmer white cardstock and oops, I want the inky part. So I've got some ink here in my tray, no, ink pad, and uh, the widest um, water painter brush. And I'm just going to brush some of this on my cardstock. And I want some dark areas and some lighter areas. Just like that. I'm just creating a patch big enough to cut the eggs out of. Oops. And then I'm going to come in with my little dotty stamp that's in the stamp set and stamp that off and then onto the blue. And that will give us some speckled blue eggs. Right. And once that's dried for a bit, you can just use that little die to cut out the eggs from the, the part you want. And here's my eggs that I've already cut. And they just get glued into the nest. Just overlap them slightly. Okay, now I've got the bird, so I've already stamped a bird, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do some colouring just to show you how I coloured that. So I've got um, Daffodil Delight for for the beak. And then again, I've just followed the shading that's already in the stamp by just going around the edge. And as you go, you just sort of pick the areas that you think would be darker. So like his end of his tail might be darker than his body. Oops. And I'm using the pointy, the more pen end because I find it's, you have more control especially on smaller areas. The brush end is good for larger areas, like on the nest. And then his head. So you get the idea, just colour that in with the light one. So here's one that I've already done. So I'm going to put that on dimensionals. And for the tail, I'm going to use a half one. And then just position the bird on the edge of the nest, like so. Then I've made some leaves out of um, Granny Apple Green cardstock from the dies in the set. And again, I'm going to cut up pieces of dimensional. 
so that the leaves can pop off the page. So I'll just show you. Just cut up an edge piece. Pop that on the back. And then I'm going to position them so that they're the, the stamped leaves are still visible below so that I'm actually adding extra leaves rather than covering over leaves that are already there. Like so. Okay, so I've finished adding the leaves and it, it's a little bit fiddly but I think you'll agree that it's worth it. Um, there's just four of them so it didn't take too long. The next thing is to do the sentiment, so this is from the Charming Sentiments stamp set and I love this look where you emboss in white on black, it's one of my go-to go -to things, so I'll just stamp that on. It's a Versamark and then into the white powder a couple of times and then I flick off the extra. Oops, I've managed to get it on my fingers. Just get away any bits I don't want. And then that's going to be heat, heat set. And then cut out using the die that corresponds to those words. And here's the one here. And then this I attached with black dimensionals. And again, you can cut them up. that in. Right, now I'm going to attach all of that to the black layer, just with some liquid glue. It's my favourite glue, it's very quick and you've got a little bit of wiggle room to position your layers as it's, uh, while well, it's a bit tacky. Okay, now for the ribbon, I'm using linen thread, I'm just sort of straightening it a little bit off the roll. What I do to do a bow on the side is have a length that I pop out to one side, that's sort of like for half my bow, and then pick it up, hold that with my thumb, and wrap the twine around and come back to that same side and then cut the length about the same as the first half and then you can tie the bow on the side. And I just want to move that in slightly. It's a little bit close to the edge. And just pull on it and move it around. And it has slackened slightly as I actually tie, tightened the bow. So to get that nice and tight on the front, just flip it over and use a bit of tear and tape. If you just pull on both sides, you get that, take up the slack and you can just put, I just put a piece on either side, you don't quite need to use as much as I'm using here, just make sure it's straight still, there we go, and then you've got that extra is just tucked in the back there, never to be seen again, because we're now going to put it on dimensionals. Oh, I should have used the black, shouldn't I? 
<laughs> Never mind, you won't see them. And here's my balmy blue card base. I'll just pop that on. Nicely centered. And there you have it. You can play with the bow a wee bit. Get it to sit a bit better. That's my nested friends card. So I've got the this one has the what's new, and my other one I used Hey there as my sentiment. So I've got the two different options. You could also do it as a birthday or a thank you. Many, many ways you can use it. I have some other samples of other projects that I've made with the set. So this is a little trio of cards, little note cards that fit the three by three envelopes. And I've used the two die cuts to form the nest on this one. Oops, stray bird. And you've done the same technique for the eggs and used mossy meadow and old olive for the leaves. These words are all from the stamp set. So I've done that uh, white embossed on black and then fussy cut. I've also made this 3D fun fold birdhouse card. So you've got this um, fun pointed top on it and then the little hole for the to be like a tree nest and my little birds on the front. And this is using, oh, and, and the cards use the designer series paper, the um, Happy Forest Friends from the annual catalogue. I think it's really cute and it goes quite well with the birds. So I just thought I might show you how I did the bird that faces the other way. So this is the one that the direction that it's in on the stamp set, but you can do a reverse option like a mirror image. So I use the Stamparatus, I've got my bird positioned there, so I'm just going to first of all stamp a bird oops, and cut him out, down a bit, oops up a bit, <laughs> okay I'll just use that crumb cake ink again. So you're just going to stamp one, and you could do this off the Stamparatus and then put, put the bird on. So stamp that and cut it out. And also cut out another of the same shape from using the die. So you end up with this. And then, just before I put that in, put in the silicon mat and ink up the bird again. And stamp it onto the mat. So now I've got an outline of where the bird is going to sit. I can put this back over the top and then secure the whole thing down. And then I will put in, no, I'm just going to add a couple more layers of ink to that because we want it quite inky. And then when I put this piece back in, and you just rub it with your finger to transfer the ink. Now I've got a bird, because it's gone onto the back of the die cut, so it's facing the opposite way. Quite a fun little technique. And it just adds interest on the cards. So you'll see here that I've used that technique for that bird and also for that bird so that they're looking the other direction. So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and you decide to add the nested friends bundle to your collection and that was the card that we made together and my other samples. Thanks for watching.